What's up everybody? Welcome back to One More Guitar. Thank you for checking out the channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you could take a second to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button, it really does help me out. So what I have here today is a Fender American Original 50 Stratocaster. And uh, I'm really excited to check this thing out because I ordered this maybe towards the end of last summer. And uh, you know, with things being back ordered the way they are, it's just taken a long time to get here. So um, I've never actually played one or had my hands on one at all because they've never been in the shops, but I've been looking at them for about two years now. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out if I wanted a Telecaster or a Stratocaster and which one of these I wanted, but uh, I finally landed on the Ash Stratocaster, so we're going to check this thing out and uh, just see what it sounds like. Uh, I'm going to give you my first impressions of this. I'm just going to open it up, look through the case, see what comes with it, plug it in, try it out some, and uh, you know see what I think about this guitar. Um, I'll do another video later on after I've had a little more time with it um, to do a full review of the guitar and you know deep dive a little more. But for right now, I just wanna open this box up and see what I got. So let's get going. Let's see what we got. Receipt. And another box. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Grab that. Thank you, sir. Alright, we'll shave the fender box. Not exposed to extreme temperatures. To avoid finish damage, this quality musical instrument must be stored at normal room temperature for 24 hours prior to opening. Hmm. Is it in the case? It is in the case. This is Guitar Center, so Kansas City. Well, it's only like for strength. Well, it's got like, nitro. If I open it and it cracks, I would be very sad. Oh, well, I can at least live in this box. That's the first one I've got with these. Oh, it smells like new guitar. I love it. Again, it's warning me. I'll tell you what, if it's cracked, if I open it and it's cracked, I'm not airing this video. Is this dumb, Matt? I mean, this is expensive. It's over two grand. It's fine. Goodness. Oh, look at that off That's there. what I saw too. <laughs> what is that? Ooh. Holy. Yeah, we got a little fuzz from the case on there. Man, that is sharp. Whew. Case fuzz all over it. It's like in the uh, plate back here. You can definitely see the grain more than I've been able to see on any uh, like pictures or anything like that. Let's check out this neck. It's 
pretty cool thing there. Man, that's cool. White feels pretty good. Let's see the uh, bridge is floating there. Might be a little, yeah. little, might be a little high. Yeah, that's definitely a little high. Hell yeah, that's awesome. What kind of case did you get? Yep, let's check that out. There we go. Sweet. The best. Some locks. Alright, here, I'm gonna put this in a stand. Hold on. Alright, and I have a fancy little bag. Yeah, let's see what we get here. Alright, we got a COA. Oh. Starter guide. A little care information about the finish. We got an Allen wrench. And what else do we have? The ashtray cover and the trim bar. And that is it. All right, now that I've got this out of the box, I just kind of want to go over it a little bit and. Uh, you know, check it out and tell you what it feels like in my hands and then we'll plug it in and see what it sounds like. So uh, the first thing I'll tell you I notice is the thickness of this neck profile. Um, I knew it was a thicker neck but uh, you know I wasn't really expecting this much and I do like thicker neck guitars but I found that you know sometimes it just doesn't fit my hand right but this one does. This fits my hand really well. Um, you know, so it's one thing to note about this guitar is that it's going to have a thick neck on it. So if you don't like thick necks, um, you might want to look somewhere else because this thing is thick. Um, but it feels really good in my hand. Like, I feel like I've got a good grip on it. And it's got rolled edges on it too, so I mean, it feels really good. I'm going to just play the guitar a little bit and see what it sounds like here acoustically. All right, so I like the way it sounds acoustically. It's got a nice ring to it. All right, so let me look over this guitar. Um, I say there's not a lot of figuring in the neck. Um, I've seen some examples that have got good grain through the uh, fretboard and on the back of the neck, but this one's pretty plain. And uh, when we do the deep dive, I'll show some close-up footage of this, but you know, just kind of give you an idea here. Another thing that I really like about this guitar is that you can see the grain in it um, a lot better than I thought you'd be able to. Let me see if you can see this. Um, all of the videos I've seen, you know, they've kind of looked like it was just plain white. And, you know, for an ash body, I was hoping for a little bit more grain, but I'm happy that at least you can see through to the grain. So that's pretty cool. And while I'm here at the camera, let me show you how this bridge is set up. You can see it's sitting up pretty high off of the body. Um, so I've had a little bit of tuning problems. I don't know if it has something to do with that. So before the next video, I'll set this guitar up the way I like it and uh, see if we can get everything just right. So um, that's one thing to note. It kind of comes like this from the factory, and it was pretty bad out of tune when I got it. The serial number's on the uh, plate here on the back, but there's no fancy F stamp or anything like that. Um, something to see there. Neck joint and all that looks pretty good. Let's give it the old smell test. Mm, not quite as good as the V, but still pretty nice. Knobs feel good. The guitar feels great in my hands. Get this out of the way. Have you got the vintage tuners on here? I'm starting to like these a little more um, now that I know how to use them correctly. Uh, what else? It's a Strat. All right, I like the way it feels in my hands. Um, it doesn't really feel any different than a normal Strat other than this neck. Um, I've never played a Strat with a neck this big, but like I said, it's kind of cool and I like it. Alright, so we'll go over all the specs next time and I'll give it a proper review after I've had some time with it. But uh, for now, I just want to hear what it sounds like. So um, I'm about to turn the volume up and do something here.
Ooh, I like the way that sounds. All right, let's check out the neck pickup and see how that sounds. Man, that's got some snap to it. I like that. Let's check out the uh, position four here. All right, let's see what the middle pickup sounds like. I really like the way that sounds. That's real bright and chimey. That's nice. It's real clear. That's one thing I'll say that I've noticed about all of these positions, that they sound really clear. It's, these pickups sound really good. I like them a lot. All right, let's try something in position two. And finally, let's check out the bridge. All right, something like that. The only thing I would be aware of is the thickness of this neck profile. But, uh, you know, if you like that, this thing plays great. And like I said, I love the way it sounds. I'm definitely going to have to set it up. I've had to stop and tune several times while I've been doing this. Um, this bridge is just way too high. I need to tighten the springs in the back. But um, I'll do all that for the next video. But uh, right now, I'm really enjoying this out of the box. This is really nice. All right, let's throw a little overdrive on it just to see what it sounds like dirty, and then uh, I'll give you my final thoughts on my first impression. All right, so I'm just going to throw on something that's kind of like a tube screamer. Come back up to the neck. sounds good man these pickups are really clear even with the overdrive on I love that all right so let me tell you my first impressions of this guitar uh, first of all I really like the finish on it I love how you can see the wood grain in there I wish there was a little more grain in the wood but uh, I think it looks really good I think it's a sharp guitar um, another thing I really like about it is the weight um, doesn't feel too heavy actually I should throw a strap on and see how balanced this is All right, you can see it's got a good balance to it. Okay, the next thing I'll talk about are these pickups. Um, so far, I'm loving these things. Like I've mentioned a few times, they're really clear. Um, I think, what are these, custom 59s, something like that? Um, 
They sound great to my ear, so I really like that a lot. All right, the next thing I'll talk about is the setup of this guitar. Um, I think it came set up pretty well from the factory. Uh, the action's pretty good. Um, the only complaint I have really is that this bridge is pulled up too much, so I'm gonna have to set it up again, but um, other than that, um, it's pretty good. You can, It's playable out of the box. All right, as far as QC goes, um, don't have any sharp fret ends here. I'll give it the tissue test in the next video, but uh, yeah, this feels really good. You can tell that they uh, spent some time on these. Yeah, that's great. Let's check out the nut. Strings are sitting in there pretty well. Uh, I can't tell if the A is cut a little more than it should be. So yeah, I'm liking it so far. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to go plug in my American Pro Strat and compare it to this. and. You know, maybe I'll make a video of that at some point too. So let me mention a couple more things here. Um, one thing you may want to know about this guitar if you're interested in getting it is that on the 50s version, the pit guard is one ply, so it's really thin. So over time, it's going to warp. Um, on the 60s models, they do not like that. So um, just wanted to let you know that if you're interested in getting this guitar, that this pit guard is probably going to warp over time. Another thing, it has a nitro finish on it too, and so the guitar will also age. It's one of the reasons I wanted it. Uh, most of the stuff Fender puts out these days comes with poly, and um, they look great and they'll always look great, but I wanted something that would age, so that's one of the reasons I got this guitar. Another thing I'll talk about is the uh, finish on the neck. It's a little bit sticky. Um, I know this will wear down over time and it'll get a lot better, but right now, I mean, it's a little sticky. And I'll say that even when I first got it out of the box, even the, the fretboard felt a little sticky when I was trying to bend, but it doesn't anymore. Maybe I just had to knock the new off of it, but uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. But yeah, that nitro is a little sticky, so something else you need to know about this neck. Um, but it's really not bad. I mean, it's not hindering my playing in any way. It's just, you know, you first pick up the guitar, it feels a little sticky. And then the last thing I'll mention today is the case. Um, I think the case is cool. I really like the tweed case with the, you know, the red interior and all that. I think it looks really good, but uh, I'm not sure I would travel with that case. I mean, I'm sure it's okay, but... The cases that come with like the American Professional and stuff like that are such better cases and luckily I have one of those. So if this guitar is ever going anywhere, it's probably gonna go in that case and not the one that it came with. But I do think it looks cool, so that's something to think about. All right, that's all I've got today. I really do appreciate y'all coming to hang out with me and uh, checking out this guitar. Um, if you can remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button before you leave, I really would appreciate it. I'll post a full review of this after I've had enough time to really get my hands on it and you know, get a feel for it. So until next time, take it easy and keep playing.